Okay, we've just had short film showcase number one of the festival, and I'm here to talk about some of the films that we've just seen. Some wonderful films, really strong uh, selection, this, this uh, short selection. Can you just introduce yourself, please, and the, your role in the film, and which film it was? Please? Yes, yes. Uh, my name is Esteban Roel, I'm a filmmaker uh, from Spain, uh, and it's Teodoro, the first short film, The Little Bear with Soledad and Graciela, and this uh, crazy thriller, pol Policiaco. <laughs> and Hello, I am Maria. I am the scriptwriter of Teodoro, too. I am from Spain, and thank you for the invitation. We are very glad to be here. Thank you for coming. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. And um, I hope you, uh, you enjoyed our uh, short film. So, yeah, thank you very much. Hi, I'm Sophie. I am the writer, actor, and co-producer of Losing It. So OK, um, first of all, thank you so much for coming. Um, especially from Spain, then. Great, <laughs> great effort. Um, yeah. Let's talk about your films, and where did your inspiration, maybe, Mia, you're the right person to ask this question to, where did your inspiration yes. come from? Um, okay, the script um, was written for, uh, for the master of script that I was uh, studying in that moment, so two years ago, mm -hmm. and um, basically from a photo, and uh, I have a beer in my house, so I have a picture, like a beer, like uh, like study like that, very hot, very hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and and with desperation, like okay, that beer is uh, in a hot, um, no, move, move, I don't know, movement or yeah. um, post, no, and uh, and then I had to, yeah, to think and and make it up, and uh, yes. Uh, and then I presented to the to the master, and and I think like okay, I had a good um, point of that, and then I can um, make it bigger and uh, develop develop it, and then we mm -hmm. we made it, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> because we know each other already, I was so say, have you worked together before? Yes, he was my teacher. Yes, okay. I was. Because uh, I was teacher. studying before, uh, like scriptwriter, I was like actress, okay. studying uh, acting. So he was my one of my best teachers. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so yes, so we we got a good team. Yes. And now, she, she yes she she told me about the project and of course the script is very crazy and I love this kind mm. of things. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's a very eccentric <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. type of humour, isn't it? Yeah, yes, I was going to yes. wonder where that kind of come from. What's your inspiration between that kind of humour? Very particular type, isn't it? Yes, I like uh, to make something. I, I try to make something original or, or different yeah. to break the rules, yeah. maybe, and to criticise a bit um, our society. How okay. the love with this uh, all the ladies um, are. Dealing every day, no, with the, mm. with the loneliness, mm. loneliness, okay. loneliness, mm. and that's the the first uh, like message, as a scriptwriter. And then how to make it like funny and how to to achieve to to the public, no, mm. um, not to pass through the drama because mm. I don't like drama, mm -hmm. but uh, so. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, basically, um, and how we, we can find love in like uh, uh, wherever, like almost wherever, no? Mm. Even in a beer. Teddy bear. Yeah, that teddy bear. It's <laughs> like, and then they are the, um, the main characters there, yes, they are friends. They are, both of them, they are lonely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and then like um, Teodoro, um, breaks uh, to, to the routine <laughs> and was like, oh, all a mess, <coughs> no? Like, like 24 hours, mm. or most of them. I never know you speak English very well. <laughs> I'm trying to. <laughs> I, I don't know why I'm trying to do. <laughs> no, you, you speak to <laughs> What was the inspiration behind the, uh, <coughs> the detective character, the male one with the squeaky voice and the haircut? I wanted to ask what 
Where did that come from? <laughs> well, well, the, well, the, this, well, the, all the the crew or the, the actors is a friend, or, sorry, it's a, because they worked with with me. And when I when Maria sent me the script, I said okay, because she she cried in inspiration with uh, Sole, Sole the, the actress. Main, the main actress. The, the main woman. actress is okay. a friend of, of, of mine. It's, it's a friend She's of a us. And she said, I, I imagine yeah. Magda for this uh, character. character. And I said, yes, but I have a, a, a lot of crazy actors, very crazy actors. Media and good actors. Very and, good. Yeah. and I show the, the script and said, OK, yes, 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 let's go to work together. Okay. And it was fantastic. And it was a great uh, uh, all the time. And of course, there are a lot of shots I have to Cut because they improvise and joke all the time yeah. and, and was like, was like a family. Yeah, like it was family. fantastic. Yeah. But of course, they say, okay, okay, take it easy. Let's go to the right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Start to play. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> was there a lot that you had to kind of cut out, or were you kind of that you had to edit out? Yeah. Did you let the actors just sort of go, and then you had to yes, yes, the door uh, yes, yes. Because I, I when all the all the, <coughs> the direction was okay, let's go. Mm. Be crazy, okay, okay. Right. indeed. The I, 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 I was there in yeah. the in the. Well, she's a, she's an extra. She's a, a cop and <laughs> a scientific. I'm making uh, coffees uh, all the time. Yeah. I was like, uh, you have to do, to say that, and you have to. Uh, mm. Yeah, so I this was like, oh, I, I, I have to say it is very difficult to have the cr the screenwriter in in the film because when you are filming yeah. because the, all the time. No, this like guy. Yeah, yeah, go 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 there, <laughs> go there. That's not mine. That was like okay. <laughs> Free, so yeah. yeah, yeah, very nice. Indeed, I, I think it's a, it's a coincidence, but the, 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 our short film is about the sex and yeah. the love yeah. and everything. Yeah. It's very. But don't it's just these things together, you know. This is all part of the plan, isn't it? <laughs> yes, yes, I think it's, it's now it's the it's the same way. Yeah. The same way. Bring you in, Sophie. Your film was, I loved it because of the originality of it, and you don't see many films about this kind of subject. I, don't, I, I haven't, anyway. Um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed that about it, and it kind of gave the subject a kind of a, like a respect that it deserves. And you know, it didn't make fun of it. It kind of, you know, aunt, you know, spoke about it honestly. Where was your inspiration? Where did that come from? Um, well, to be honest, some of it is based on personal experience. Yeah. Um, there was, I was working with the director and we were trying to get another short film funded, which wasn't happening. And it wasn't something that we could self-fund, so we wanted to make something that was really self-contained. Mm. And I had this interest in virginity and the way virginity is depicted in film, which is often as kind of the butt of the joke, yeah. um, or as this big kind of coming-of-age rite of passage that fixes the main character's problems. Mm. Finally, they are an adult or something like that. Yeah. Um, and I was just quite interested in in the res in the research process. The only real accounts I could find online of people's first times were terrible, terrible stories on Reddit. Okay. And I realized how little people actually talk about their first times. Yep. Most people have sex, therefore most people will have had a first time. And I just thought it would be nice to kind of explore how the challenges to having first time sex mm. in the modern world yeah. and also the pressure, but also the way sex and intimacy kind of intersect and sometimes mm. you know you think that the sex is going to bring the intimacy, but the intimacy needs to come first mm. kind of thing. So that's kind of where it came from. Yeah. Ricky, you speak English very well. <laughs> <laughs> I practiced. <laughs> <laughs> Um, how was it seeing your film up there? Because it, it's one of the first festivals you've been in, isn't it? How yeah, the um, the sound. I had not heard the sound as well okay. as on that one. Um, yeah, it was really it was really exciting to see it. This is only the second film festival I've been to, oh, um, but also a bit weird because I don't like watching myself as an right. actor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I get that. That's that's have, you read, have you wrote it? Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. yes. Oh, nice. um, so you're obviously in it as well. Were you always gonna? Cast yourself, or did you think of ever like yeah, cast something else? Yeah, that was the only reason I started writing. I just wanted to make myself some work. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um, you guys, um, so you've worked together before. What's your background? How did you get into film? Theodora. Background. Oh. 
uh, no, the, for, for Maries, the, 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 the first uh, uh, project. Uh, first, uh, pro professional oh, right, branch director, uh, we can say, because uh, uh, when I was uh, um, making the, the master, the script uh, master, I, I was like uh, filming by myself with my friends with a bad camera just for practice, and, uh, and I was writing and directing and producing, and, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm, I'm proud, I can say, <laughs> mm -hmm. because like, I was like uh, putting my, my style, mm -hmm. no? and there, uh, of course, uh, if I have to show my work uh, to the world, it has to be like that, no? mm -hmm. the professional work with a um, professional team and all the stuff. Because for me, the, these guys in TIC, because I, I direct cinema and theater. Okay. Indeed, all the actors in the theater, in the film, okay. are uh, theater actors. Mm -hmm. And I worked with them in, in a, a place. And okay. Indeed, uh, Hus, Hus, Husti, mm -hmm. Husti is the, the, what are the, the two cops, no? The, the, okay. the, the, with the <laughs> there are uh, actors from my, another place I, yeah. I, I direct in Madrid. Okay. And uh, b before the pandemic, uh, we have a lot of a huge, fantastic success, but the pandemic is all the play yeah. We have to go. And we said, okay, let's go to do no cinema or something. We wanted to, to work in, mm -hmm. in something uh, with the camera. Mm -hmm. And up here, up Maria appears with Teodoro, and we said, okay, go for it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And this is, and, and, and another, in, I had a, a a movie, but it's a long time ago in mm -hmm. 19, no, in 2015. Uh, 2015. Okay. Shrewsness was a, it's a psychological thriller, mm -hmm. and now I am working in the in the other film. But with this short film, we have a lot of fun. <laughs> thriller too, mm -hmm. because you like this. Yes, but it's genre. a thriller too. Policiaco, mm -hmm. yeah, that's terrible. Or Tudor. Question for you, Sophie. Um, so, writer, cast, and co-producer. What was your favourite uh, of those three kind of mm -hmm. positions, and what was your greatest challenge out of each one? Or um, well, I'm first and foremost an actor, so mm -hmm. I was, that was probably the part I enjoyed the most. Co-producing, not overly keen on mm. as a as a job. <laughs> um, yeah. so I found that quite challenging. But I enjoyed the casting element for okay. for Guy. Um, the biggest challenge, I think, as a writer, and also on the casting side of things, was getting the character of Guy right. Okay. So I did about ten drafts of the script, and oh. about six of those drafts, um, everyone I showed it to said we don't like Guy, right. um, and I really wanted him to be a likable mm. character. But it, yeah. it turns out it's quite hard to sell a nice guy these okay. days. Everyone's like, what's he after? Right, okay. We don't trust right, him. Right, okay. um, and then once he kind of was getting good feedback on the script, we then obviously moved on to casting. Um, and we were really, really lucky. We ended up auditioning some really, really wonderful yeah. actors. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. And it was, it was obviously Alexander Lincoln was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, and he was, he just brought it to life perfectly. Yeah, that's great. Um, is there any questions of the audience, from the audience at this point in time? Put your hand up and send some. Comments. I'm here with a microphone. Ask some questions. <laughs> Para eso están los amigos, sí. Yes. to Sole, but actually the beer was from the, the girl's friend, pa pa Pablo's girlfriend, like the neighbor, yeah? Mm -hmm. So that's why um, the, the saying of the delivery boy was like, okay, uh, Pablo, send it to you, na, 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 and it was like, 
uh, Clara Marquez, and she was like, no. But then she, she was like, OK, I like this beer, so <laughs> keep quiet, and I will keep it. So yes, uh, yes, Pablo is um, but there. In, in the end, uh, who is uh, so it's another Pablo, is the same. It's the same uh, like there is the like, uh, of course, Sole lost his mind a little bit. You know, she's uh, with Graciela, and it's like, uh, uh, indeed, someone told us uh, is maybe everything. If you know, uh, the, the police officers are the actors in the TV soap. Do you remember? You, you see, it's the same actors. And uh, a friend of mine told me, yes, because all this in the head of this woman. Oh. And I said, yes, it's, it's, it's a good, it's a good it's point. A good it's a good point, and maybe everything is in the head of these yeah. women. And to reality. Uh, it's to reality and everything. Yeah. But Pablo, of course, is Pablo, or who, who, the, who knows? The, 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 the origin of all of this mess, no? The, The seed, the, the seed of the, mm. yeah, all of this. And then it's like. She, she asked me, how is in English that? But I am, I am the word in English. And she, she asked me, okay, I am your teacher in another time, and, uh, but now in English, never in the life. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, Violet. Now one's asked. Normally that's like the break of the seal. Oh, hang on. Oh, my God. Spencer. Spencer speaks Spencer. very fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Is it Elise? Is it Elise? Uh, Sophie. I'm yeah. Sophie. So I'm Sophie. Sophie or Sophie. Maria. And hi, Sophie. Um, how, what did you employ when you, because you were the director of your film. No, I was just the writer. Oh, just the and writer. The okay. And the cast. Okay. And the cast. Okay. And the cast. How was, I mean, you were the writer and the actress in it. pretty true to the script. Um, Alex, our, our actor, did, did a fair bit of ad-libbing to kind of stay true to the script whilst making it his own, um, mm. which I'm, as a writer, I'm not precious about. I feel like that's the best way for an actor to get to the truth of what they're saying, if they can just add a little bit of, um, of themselves into the, into the dialogue. For me, obviously, I wrote it, so I've kind of already done that for myself anyway. Um, Yes, well, this isn't the kind of thing I normally write. I, I normally write um, horror. <laughs> so I've got, um, I've currently got a BFI application in for a, for a short horror film, which I'd very much like to direct, um, but we'll see. Before I wrote Losing It, horror was, was where it was at, um, but the more I've gone down the rabbit hole of Losing It, and I've, in the process, in post-production, I've, I've spoken to a lot of people who have um, talked about how, well, they kind of opened up because of seeing the film, and I've been kind of gathering all of these various experiences about people's first times, um, which makes me feel like there is more to explore in this area, so whilst we're simmering away with the horror, mm. I might do a deep dive into some other first time related stories. Romford Horror Festival in February next year, just saying. I know, just yeah. give me the money. Just saying. <laughs> 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 uh, any other questions up here? Ah, yeah. Mr. Nick Field, bear with me a man coming. Hi Sophia, I really enjoyed uh, watching Losing It. Um, as an actor myself, who has op often thought about kind of like writing my own stuff, but I find it really difficult to sort of like be creative without being really self-aware. So what would your tips be um, to actors kind of trying to write our own stuff? Um, I think that the story always has to come first. I think it's, I think, um, 
I mean, there are several parts to it. You can be quite cynical with it and think about the kind of work that you want to get as an actor, which I have done in the past. But and sometimes that can kind of spark an idea or a genre that you want to want to get into. But I find that the more that you dig into a story and the specifics of a story and really figure out why it's a story you want to tell, I think it kind of takes a shape of its own, and then it becomes more about the story than it does about you, which is kind of what you want as an actor, I think. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Any more? Up your hand up. Uh, one over here. Yeah. Always one. Oh. Um, one of the things that was different with swimming films was one is all set in one apartment, the other one moves between a couple of locations. When you're writing, are you thinking about, I'm going to need a bigger budget to move between locations, if I can keep this in one place, uh, I can get more film into my budget, or does the script come, come first and you make that work afterwards? Yeah, chance for that. Or, 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 uh, for both, yeah. Uh, I, I need <coughs> to understand very, very uh, help me, please. <laughs> um, well, it's more for the writer, isn't it? Than for me. Uh, so uh, it's in because for me, because I see no la película. Um, tienes que pensar sobre um, el dinero que vas a pagar para usar um, uh, diferentes loca, um, localizaciones uh, yeah. o lo utilizas solo un lugar para um, captar el dinero. Which have a round of applause for Carrie, please. Yeah, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Yeah, thank yes. you. Oh. At, the uh, beginning, at the beginning, always you, you, well, for me, always I write to, to don't spend money. Don't spend money. <laughs> because you're producer also. No, because so. always this is in, in the beginning, of course, with, yeah. but that, I don't know how is the, the experience yeah. in the other stuff. Well, with, with losing it, having written a pile of short film scripts, which are absolutely impossible to film. Um, with losing it before I even started writing, the rules were two actors, one room, mm. one time of day. Mm. That's it. Yep. Which is yeah. weirdly liberating. It sounds restrictive, but I think it's more of a creative challenge. Mm. The simplicity of it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, and when you it depends on the project, I think so. Yeah. In my case, um, I have more projects that I write, so depends of the gender and depends of the. I you know that this kind of project is like a uh, very high budget, and okay, so there's one less, and of course, okay, so yes, maybe you have to adapt it a bit. But yes, uh, we have to, to think about the budget too. So it's not that it's like, okay, yeah, whatever, the helicopter and on the end, like, uh, yeah, no, <laughs> stuff like that. So no, yes, it's in the, if we, if we can do it, so it's, and I, and I think when you put it, uh, obstacles, mm -hmm. um, it's difficult. I think the, crea the creativity works better. Yeah. If you say, okay, I, I have this. Mm -hmm. For example, a friend of mine has an uh, old hospital in Madrid, and he has an uh, old hospital. I said, okay, I have to write something because it's great, old hospital. And he, he started to, to write a fantastic short film and because we we have a, an hospital, an old hospital, <laughs> fantastic, you know. And I think it's when when these things happen in the beginning, of course, when yeah. I think the people has the a lot of uh, prestige or a lot of fame or money, they don't have this kind of, of yeah. uh, <laughs> situation. That's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah depends on the type of the the career you are. So yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Okay, um, final question for me to Maria and Esteban, because uh, same thing with the answers, is what are you working on next? Well, Maria, uh, speak, because, uh, okay, yeah. it's a project, but it's a very um, it's a female project, and I, 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 am, I am not the director. I, I'm going to support her and mm -hmm. help, but it's better uh, a woman to yeah. direct, and we have it. Uh, yeah. as a, as a, as play. yeah, I um, uh, I already finished a movie mm -hmm. based on my family, so a, a real fact, uh, mixed with a thriller too. Okay. So it's a bit of fiction and based of, and uh, it's gonna be shoot in Spain and uh, Moldova, like the east of, of Europe, mm -hmm. uh, where I'm from. I'm from Moldova. I'm not Spanish, <laughs> but I grew up there in Spain. So I have the two two parts of these uh, wonderful countries. 
Then, um, so I'm, um, I have a director, I'm a woman, a woman, yes, a director, female director, Spanish one, and yes, we are uh, already started to, to move the, the movie, so okay. to, to pick, the <laughs> you know, yeah. doors and, mm -hmm. you know, so yeah, 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 so this is gonna be a very uh, slow, uh, long process. journey, a yeah. process, yes, but okay, I, yes, I'm very, I have hope, so <laughs> yeah, it's going to be great. Um, best of luck with those. Thank you so much, all of you, for submitting your film and coming to represent it. Uh, can we have a round of applause, please, for our filmmakers? Thank you.